my name is Andreas Stang. I'm professor of clinical epidemiology at the medical faculty of University of Duisburg-Essen. My background is I studied medicine at Free University of Berlin, worked as a clinician for roughly three years, then got a special education at Boston University in epidemiology and biostats. And since that time, I'm working full-time as an epidemiologist. The first time people would meet me in the program is at the very first day when they enter the program. My name is Nicole Jankovic. I am the coordinator of the PhD program Epidemiology and Clinical Research here at the University Hospital Essen. And my background is a nutritional epidemiologist by training. And the first time that I will meet the students will be during the whole procedure of their application process. And in person will probably be the first time um, during the start of their PhD program. Well, it's so nice that epidemiology addresses questions that nearly everybody interests. I'll give you one example, a prominent example. People would like to know whether mobile phone use is dangerous for people. So we need to do epidemiological studies to find out whether mobile phone or, more closely said, Radio frequency radiation as emitted by mobile phones is dangerous in terms of cancer risks, etc. So these are questions everybody's interested in. So frequently in epidemiology we address questions that concern many people. So PhD students who join us in Essen, they will run through a PhD project of three years in total and in the first two years they will follow courses on modern epidemiology, uh, for instance, and uh, also courses on soft skills, so for instance scientific writing or communication or presentation skills. And when they move to Essen, they will find an area where there are lots of possibilities because the Ruhrgebiet is very well connected. There are lots of cities where you can travel easily to uh, and discover the whole area of Northern Westphalia. And uh, of course, here in Essen, we also have an international network which you can discover. I think PhD students who successfully fulfill their PhD trajectory here in Essen um, have good possibilities to find a job uh, later, later on. Um, and even though they don't decide to join the university as a researcher, which would be a pity, uh, they have other possibilities, for instance, uh, working for big companies or non-governmental institutions or also health insurances uh, are looking for epidemiologists. Yeah, very importantly, people should be interested in science itself. They should have a tendency to like quantitative uh, procedures, statistics, quantitative measurements in science. And they should have an interest in medical problems that have to be solved and also public health problems. Yeah, we would like to see uh, doctoral students have a strong interest in epidemiology and more specifically in epidemiological methods as we really want to promote modern methods of epidemiology in our PhD program. Uh, in addition, we would like to see some basic communicational skills and collaborational skills. So this is the last bit of our short video. We, we are very much looking forward to your application and uh, we are eager to see what kind of different um, backgrounds will apply for our PhD program. If there are any questions you can of course that you not find on our website, you can of course contact us, um, send us an email or uh, send us a message via Facebook. Um, and in urgent matters you can also call us via telephone. Um, finally, I say goodbye and hope to welcome you here as students and farewell you as professionals. Yeah.